Item Number SCP-7025 Level 1 Confidential Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures All Foundation personnel within the North American Great Lakes region must make every effort to remain at least 100 meters away from any active bus used in mass transit. The Department of Analytics provides real-time forecasting and monitoring of bus locations and trajectories to assist personnel in bus avoidance. The Site Directors Committee for the North American Great Lakes region has suspended all off-site leave for essential personnel within the region. At the request of the Overseer Council, the Rockefeller Foundation has begun a political lobbying campaign aimed at eliminating or replacing public bus routes within the affected area. Description SCP-7025 is a statistical anomaly affecting the North American Great Lakes operational region. Foundation personnel within this region are significantly more likely to be killed by a bus. Bus-related fatalities among civilians in the affected region account for approximately 1 in 50,000 deaths each year. Among Foundation personnel in the region, buses are responsible for 1 out of 50 deaths. This trend was first observed in 1997, when buses were the leading cause of death among all Foundation employees, with 56 personnel killed. The adoption of current containment procedures has reduced, but not eliminated, the rate at which Foundation personnel are killed by buses. To date, no detectable force, phenomenon, or entity has been identified as the source of SCP-7025. Buses involved in personnel deaths display no anomalous effects, and the ultimate causes of fatal incidents are purely mundane. Observation and testing has shown that the risk to personnel from inactive and inert buses is minimal. However, personnel in close proximity to a bus in motion will almost certainly be killed. The following is a table of notable and novel deaths attributable to SCP-7025. Decedent Edric Hibbert Employment Position Senior Researcher Manner of death. Struck and killed by a school bus while crossing the street. The bus experienced brake failure which was ultimately attributed to a manufacturing defect. Variations on this incident are the most common occurrence of SCP-7025. Decedent. Richard Howe. Employment position. Security officer. Manner of death. Hit by a piece of flying debris while watching a figure eight school bus race. Decedent. Denver Garland. Employment Position Maintenance Technician Manner of Death Choked to death on a bagel after the bus he was riding collided with a moose. Decedent Bruno Amundsen Employment Position Janitor Manner of Death Slipped and fell on a patch of ice while attempting to board a bus. Decedent Victor Van Lauren Employment Position Assistant Director Manner of Death an off-duty bus crashed through the walls of his home. The driver was severely intoxicated. Decedent Jade Marchand Employment Position Administrative Assistant Manner of Death One of 17 passengers killed when the bus she was riding careened off a bridge, landing directly on top of a swimmer in the river below. Five other passengers were also Foundation employees. Decedent Victoria Brassington Employment Position Staff Physician Manner of Death Crushed by a falling bus while swimming Decedent Joseph Sutton Employment Position Task Force Agent Manner of Death During a dive to investigate the bus that killed Dr. Brassington, became entangled in the wreckage and drowned Decedent Cleve McKinley Employment Position Field Agent Manner of Death Carbon monoxide poisoning suffered during a stakeout of a bus depot while investigating SCP-7025. Decedent Simon Buchanan Employment Position Containment Supervisor, SCP-7025 Manner of Death Suffered a heart attack after being startled by the sound of a bus engine backfiring. Decedent Norina Calabrese Employment Position Logistics Driver Manner of Death Immolated by an exploding bus. Thank you everyone so much for watching, and a huge thank you to all of my patrons on Patreon. Special shout out to Lesby Friends, Everborn, Joe Light, and Doomsday LLC, Prince and Design. If you'd like to help support the channel, head on over to patreon.com slash drmaxwell. Link in the description.